time to follow my own path. My name is Kubo. It wasn't really an animated film, but it was Ray Harryhausen's Jason and the Argonauts. It was something that was so rich and evocative about these incredible monsters come to life, and you could tell there was something really beautiful and otherworldly about just the way they move. It was just this incredible, epic feel. The seminal moment, of course, is the moment where, uh, where Jason fights off against this army of skeleton warriors brought to life by Ray Harryhausen's hands, and it's still a, a, a magical moment to this day, and in fact, inspired one of the key action sequences in Kubo and the Two Strings. We started developing Kubo and the Two Strings about five years ago, and the original idea sprang from the fertile mind of our brilliant character designer, Shannon Tyndall. It was this sweeping stop-motion epic. It was incredibly exciting, something that we'd never seen before. I promise I won't even blink. I actually don't think I even can blink. Do I have eyelids? We took the first two, three years just developing the story, and then you know you have a sense of what story you're telling, what are the big themes that you're trying to explore, who are these characters, what does this world look like, and then you start to visualize it. That was the whole process for the last three to four years, trying to figure out how we can bring this thing to life in stop motion, and it's been an incredible experience. When we started Leica, we had a pretty simple goal, which is to make movies that matter. Movies that are bold, that are distinctive, but that also revolutionize the medium of animation. And the films themselves had something meaningful to say, and they offered an uncynical and hopeful view of the world. So when I think about the films that we make and what I hope we're remembered for, it's exactly that, that we made films that made a difference.